And today we're going to be showing you how to input behavior packs and texture packs into Minecraft Bedrock. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up Minecraft Bedrock. And as it loads here, you want to click Marketplace. Now Marketplace is actually a way for Minecraft creators to sell their content of behavior packs and texture packs. There's a loads of content here, all approved by Minecraft. But as you can see on most of them, there's a number here. That's how much it actually costs, and most of these cost the M coins, which cost money. Now if you're like me and you don't really have much money, there are two more options that you can do. The first option is by going up here to the uh, search button up at the right corner, click that, and then push this button right here, and then press the M coin low to high. This will actually show you the free content first that you can download, like the Founders Cape, Classic Textures, Party Palace, all these free maps that you can download. As you can see, I have a bunch of them already downloaded. The other way of doing this is by creating your own behavior or texture pack. We'll be showing this in a different video, but in this tutorial, we'll show you how to import it into the game. So go to File Explorer, then click the C drive or whatever drive your Minecraft is on. Then you want to go to Users. Click the user that Minecraft Bedrock is on. This will most likely be the user that you are using right now. So click that. Then go up here to the View button up at the top left corner. And then press Hidden Items. The next folder is actually a hidden item that we need. So if you click Hidden Items, a App Data folder should have appeared. Click that. And then click Local. Then go to Packages, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of mumbo-jumbo with letters and numbers. Don't let this confuse you. So actually, it's pretty simple to find the folder. Scroll down just a little bit until you see Microsoft.Minecraft right here. Click this folder, and then go to Local State. Then you want to press Games, and congratulations, you found the folder. So. If you're like me and you don't want to go through all of this again, you could actually right-click the folder and then press pin to start. This will actually pin it right here for easy access. So how to input it is to go into the com.mojang folder and then if you have a behavior pack, put it in this folder. If you have a texture pack, put it in this folder. And as you could see, I already have my behavior packs and they run just fine, and the texture packs, which run just fine. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please follow us on YouTube and check out our Twitter and Discord, which will be in the link description below. I hope you like these tutorial videos. We'll be doing more of these in the future, and have a good day!